Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Rena Bitar and it's really nice to meet you. So I kind of look weird because I just woke up from like five hour nap. I came back from uni and I collapsed on my bed because I didn't sleep well last night. Anyways, we had two weeks of holiday. Today was the first day back on campus. I'm very happy because I got very bored in London. And now my friends are back. So yeah, we're gonna do a little vlog. And there's only four days left for Ramadan. So I'm super excited. But I'm gonna go to the gym now and I'll see you guys after that. But can we just talk about the pimple I have like here? Like it's like I have my lips done. But if this this is how my lips will look if I make them. Maybe I might get my lips done. What do you think? Boop, boop, boop. Can I just say that I have zero energy? What the fuck? I almost like died on my TV. Can we talk about the fact that I have zero energy in me to go to the gym, but I'm still gonna go anyway because summer is just like one month away and it's not in my hands to decide what I want to do with my life. Like I have to go to the gym even though I'm tired. So if you're hesitating, if you need to go to the gym or not, get up now, go get ready and go to the gym. Thank me later. It's time to break my fast. So I was so thirsty today, I swear. Oh my God, that felt good. Didn't act like a friend that night. Maybe that's why it felt so right Do I really need to spell it out for you? So why? Why are you trying to hide your curiosity? So I came back from the gym and it's time for my favorite little thing that I always have after my workout. I eat this protein bar. Not especially this one, like sometimes I change, but this one is one of my favorites. It's like white chocolate with like peanut butter and like caramel. And to be honest with you guys, this is what kept me going. Like really when I finish the gym and I just want to eat something, instead of like, you know, grabbing a chocolate or like something sweet, I immediately eat this and it like stop my hunger for like one hour, two hours. It's not much calories in it, 200 calories. It's good. You can have it before the workout as a source of like energy, but I like to have it after, you know, because protein and like muscle, whatever. I don't know the science behind it, but yeah, I'm going to have this. It looked so good. So I'm like scrolling through TikTok and I'm living my little life, whatever. And I see every single girl doing a like haul, what I got from Sephora sale or whatever. Like, please, why did I not know that Sephora was doing sale? I'm literally the only one on TikTok who didn't know that there was a Sephora sale going on. So like, sorry. Even if there is no more sale, I'm going to go on Sephora website and buy something. Because they're just like got every little new gadget stuff, whatever. And I want it as well. I'm going to go on Sephora and like look for new things, new makeups. I'm gonna get them because I'm also like changing my whole makeup routine which is like fire like now I get so excited to do my makeup every time like I have to go out I have these new product and they make my skin look amazing and I'm still figuring out what I want to add to my collection what I want to throw away from now till the summer my makeup routine will be perfect but before we do anything of that we're gonna try what I got today it's this Tony Chocolone <laughs> Chocolonelli chocolate and they say like it's like milk and caramel I buy this chocolates just because of the packaging like the packaging is amazing and then you have the chocolate bar Let's try Okay, so the caramel is not like it's more crunchy not my favorite, but it's good. So it's shopping time I really want to get the Dyson air up. I love how it's 500 pound amazing, but I'm not gonna get it today though I'm gonna get it maybe in like two weeks I hope the day I'm gonna have the Dyson air up I will never go to the hairdresser ever again in my life I'm looking for this drunk elephant bronzing creams that Alex Earl uses It's the only thing I need in my life right now And of course, it's no surprise that it is out of stock. So obviously guys I'm late. What's new? I'm on my way to uni now. It's nine past something and I have class at nine. I've got a rush, but I wasn't feeling very good this morning. So I took some medicine. So I broke my fast. When you're sick, it's fine. So I'm going to have breakfast. And yeah, let's go to uni. We're in uni. <laughs> they put this new sign in front of like the cafeteria thing. I swear Regents is so cute. Got some orange juice and this this is the first time I tried here. It's like coconut yogurt with like chocolate okay. granola. And I also had one of my favorite things, banana bread. Talk about 
the fact that we don't want to go to class. I just can't wait for summer. People are at Coachella living their best life and we're like in a fucking storm. It's a storm. Regents. Boycott Valentine. If you're still wearing Valentina, that means you support child. Na 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 na. I don't want to say the word, but yeah. Arena says it's a personal choice. I say it's not gonna help to stop it and prevent it. But like, I don't say throw it away, but just don't buy, don't buy anymore. Oh, I thought you were sleeping. <laughs> Come to Regents, Habibi! <laughs> yeah, because us two were like celebrating Ramadan and so maybe you can squeeze us in. No, not Italian, never, okay. Never. Asian. <laughs> we need okay. Asian. So I came back from uni, I went to the gym, then I showered and I did my hair. And here we are for the makeup part. But before we get into the makeup, I went by... Harrods this weekend and I got some stuff so I'm going to do a little haul first of all I got this guys if you watch tiktok you know what this is this is the flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury that everyone and their mother uses I got it in the shade 510 Doré I see everyone use this so basically how they use it they mix it with their moisturizer and they apply it as a base before the foundation so this is not a foundation it's like something luminous so we're gonna try this today then I got the airbrush flawless finish from Charlotte Tilbury as well it's a powder so I love my Huda Beauty powder if you know me you know that I love baking with this Huda Beauty powder it's an all-time favorite I will still use it because this one i will put it after my concealer i feel like they're so small they look like bigger on the top all right so that's it it's in the shade same shade tan doré i'm gonna live my best life and last but not least i also got the concealer from charlotte tilbury i got it in the shade six medium i didn't see this on tiktok i just saw it in the store and i was like i'm gonna try it out so let's get ready but while getting ready we're gonna raid some coachella outfits because it's coachella weekend okay and you may ask yourself why are you raiding other people outfit well why because we fucking can and if i can i do no but seriously jokes aside coachella is one of my favorite weekend it's my favorite weekend of the whole year i've never been yet i'm working on it guys okay i'm working on it one day inshallah this is the part that i've been waiting my whole life i'm gonna mix my moisturizer which is also from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna mix it with the new flawless filter. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. I think that's enough. First outfit we're gonna raid is one of my favorites. She's a TikToker. Her name is Madeleine. And her first outfit is this little gold and green dress that I love. Personally, she's one of the only girls that has like three outfits that I approve of. I love her three looks, but especially this one. I don't know, it's giving glitter. It's giving Coachella. It's just giving. And this is what I'm looking for. Wait, can we? What? Guys, please look at my skin. Please look at my skin. Stop everything you're doing. I'm gonna go buy three like this. Her outfit is giving. I love the gold. I love the dress. I love her moment. Her second outfit, also this butterfly. Actually, this is my favorite. Look at the hair, like the butterfly in the hair. Wow, I love it. For me, she was one of the best dressed at Coachella. I love this finish, guys. I just know this will be part of my makeup routine because can you see how much I'm glowing? I wanna add more, but like, stop. Okay, next it's James Charles. You may know James Charles because, okay, there's a lot of drama around him, whatever. But last year, every year, I don't know why he has a scandal when he goes to Coachella because of his outrageous outfits. He just go crazy on outfits and, like, people criticize him so much. So I feel like this year, he wanted to be more, like, you know, low-key, more casual. But listen, when you go to Coachella, you either go big or you don't go at all. If I ever go to Coachella, I want glitter all over my face. I want I want my hair to be in a style, I want my shoes to match my outfit, to have glitter, to have earrings, to have accessories. I don't want to go and be like basic, you know? I like his outfit, but it's not my favorite. Like, I love this two outfit the most because it's like stylish, it's casual, but I think he, I think he went low-key because he's like done being criticizing by people, but I think he could have done it like better. Moving on to the next outfit, we have 
one that surprisingly I like which is the outfit of Dixie D'Amelio so I'm not a fan of like Charlie and Dixie or whatever but I was surprised because initially I don't like her style and she really surprised me like this jean oversized moment she really she's cute she's wearing just a, like bikini top it's not vulgar because obviously there's not much going on I love the hair the blonde hair suits her and why I'm putting her here it's because we need to discuss her sister's look Charlie sorry but what is this it's giving nothing like I don't know the only thing giving here it's the hair that's the only thing I can say the dress is not it's a bit it's very I don't know like I don't like that much black and white combination so I don't approve moving on even the second outfit uh, the blonde hair babe they messed up your wig like the blonde hair I'm not even you know what I'm not even gonna talk about this I'm just gonna move on then we have the A-list celebrities such as Kendall Jenner or like Hailey Bieber or uh, Kylie Jenner they really went uh, super low-key it's like you know they're not trying they're already like famous and fabulous and rich so they don't have to like try hard at Coachella but I mean when you have this much money and you have like all the resources to be best dressed at Coachella why don't you do it like why don't you give the people what they want they look good because obviously everything will look good on them and then we have one of my favorites Megan Mercada he is an influencer she's really pretty she has like amazing style I love her style I like this outfit a lot it's like pink cute very Barbie girl she looks good her hair looks good I love the accessories the necklace last but not least we also have an influencer which is like from the same level of like Megan Mercada he her name is Leonie and I love her style. I followed her like long, long, long time ago. I remember her username on Instagram was Eau Couture. And now she's like one of the best influencers in the world. So I like her outfit. I think this one is my favorite. She always do like such weird outfits with like a lot of accessories. It's never like simple. There's always a lot of things going on. That's what I like. This was my last like rating because to be honest with you guys, I, I was a bit disappointed with the looks of this year. I don't know. I don't feel like they gave everything they had to give. I love Coachella. It's supposed to be a music festival, but let's be honest between you and me, it's not a music festival. It's all about like influence creating content and like fashion and who's the best dress who's gonna win Coachella marathon I feel like the previous year we saw better outfits than this year I'm a little bit disappointed with this year I hope next year I will be able to like go to Coachella I don't know how it works every year I'm like okay I'm gonna buy some tickets it's never on the internet that the tickets are available like how are you supposed to know when the tickets will be available anyways just know that the day I arrive in Coachella it's over for all of them I'm gonna do like if I ever go to Coachella, if I'm ever invited by a brand or even not invited, okay, being invited by a brand will be like so much better than going by myself because I can tell you this shit is expensive, but even like with a brand is better. Anyways, if I ever step foot in Palm Spring in Coachella Valley, you just have to know that I will not go there to play. Like I'm going there for my looks and my looks only. Like, you know what? I'm just not gonna talk and I just gonna say inshallah one day or another i'll be there anyways i always dreamt about like going to coachella not even like i always dreamt about being a youtuber which is why i'm so happy i finally took this step and also guys i have a new crush i finished working out and i was like it's time for me to get my to do my in body thing and the coach that helped me with the in body the in body thing is the thing you hold like this and they calculate how fat you are basically <laughs> <laughs> so the guy that helped me was so hot the trainer i hope he will never see this video because i'll be totally embarrassed but yeah he was so hot so he's my new crush he's just my crush like i don't care he's just my crush anyway so tonight we're going to a restaurant yeah, i'm going to cipriani tonight one of my favorite you already know the thing we're going to cipriani because it's one of my friend's birthday i bought her like a bouquet of flowers that i will show you in a bit i'm now gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury to set everything because it's looking a bit too glowy i would say i just think this is a little bit dark for me <gasps> of course it's too dark for me I love every new product that I got, especially this. It made my skin look amazing. And yeah, my shade was the, it's number five. The only thing is 
the powder it was too dark for me so i think i'm gonna go and get a lighter one but yeah i love how my makeup turned out guys i don't know who i think i am but you're gonna love the outfit i'm gonna try and show you guys i have these boots on this is from zara 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 Sarah. My bag is from Prada and I got my glasses from I don't know I think I got them from Strategy Various I'm not sure I don't know who I think I am but I'm loving who I think I am and yeah This is the look without the coat I think this might be one of my favorite looks I ever wore And guys look what I got for my friend It's the bouquet of flower I love the colors Red and like fuchsia and pink Amazing I hope she likes it Are you happy? Yes! How was your birthday? It was super nice. How old did you turn? Like? How old? 21. 21? You're legal, legal in Miami. 21! <laughs> Can you do some for me? <laughs> Yesterday night was so, so much fun. Like, we had so much fun. We had, like, a lot of food. It was amazing, as usual. And we also took a lot of pictures. For that, you're gonna have to go on my Instagram to see them because I don't want to spoil here. It was very fun, and I slept well, but now we're gonna go a bit for shopping. I wanna find some good pair of jeans. Like, if I find these jeans in other colors, I'm gonna buy it in every other color and what else do i want i want to try and get my third hole pierced also today shall we guys i know you don't mean to but you're blocking my view i know you got issues but i got my shit too i don't want to be be a therapy no more no more you don't want to hear this but it's you I came to get my ear pierced. I wanted to do it for like so long and I was passing by Claire's and I saw that they offer like an ear piercing service, whatever. So I got my ear pierced, but the woman didn't want to like record um, the process. So I'm going to show you. It's like nothing. It's the third one. I don't know if you can see it's that one. I didn't do it on that side. I just want to keep on adding on this side. I'm super happy, super excited. I got it done, guys. It didn't hurt though. So guys, I'm back home and I'm going to do a little haul of everything that I got. We're going to start with boots. So first thing that I got is this foundation from the number seven. This was only 20 pounds and it's supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury like flawless filter foundation. We're going to try it. So what she did to like find out what shade I was, she scanned my face and she came up with this shade and it was the perfect shade for me. This is in the shade Deeply Beige. And it's the Lift and Lemonade Triple Action Serum Foundation from the number 7. And it comes with like a little pump. Moving on, I got three stuff from the brand ALF. Uh, if you know this brand, it's a very cheap brand and they have like such nice things. I got this eyeshadow glitter in the shade Copper Pop. I can't wait to use this for like my makeup looks. This at night will look so good. Like look at the shimmers. I love it. And then I got, sorry, I already unboxed it for TikTok. So TikTok saw it first. But yeah, I got this two lip liners from e.l.f. These were like only two pounds. I got two shades. This is in the shade light brown and there we have the shade light pink i wanted to get some brushes for so long but i didn't want like expensive brushes because i didn't know that brushes were these expensive like i don't want to buy 20 pounds for one brush so i got these two sets from real techniques uh these were like 19 pound and 19 pound as well this is a set of like four brushes for the face for my foundation and stuff and these are like brushes for my eyes then i also got this cute shaped uh, beauty blender from real techniques as well and i also got some pads and guys i saw this on tiktok so when i saw it on the store i was like no way they actually have it this is a little stone from revlon which is supposed to like absorb the oil on your face and you can rewatch it but i tried it and i don't think like do you think i don't think this works so that's a flop 
Next we have Claire's for my piercing. They gave me this lotion to like clean it. I have to clean it three times a day because I don't want it to get uh, infected, you know. They had like a sale going on, buy three, get three free. So I was like, I'm buying. And I got this two thing for my hairs. I want to put like two, two. That could be cute for with like an outfit this summer. And then I also got some earrings that I will stack together like big hoops and like small hoops. I already have these one. They're the one I'm wearing right now, the first one. But I love them so much that I got them again. In case I, I lose these, I will have like a new pair. And this is like the smaller version to like put it behind. I didn't have the smaller version, so I got it. And then I got this cute claw clip, which is pink, stone pink. And I also got the one I have in my hair right now. It's like blue, purple, pink. I'm gonna show you what I got from Zara. I got this little pink jacket this was a bit expensive though but i really loved it i don't know why i had like a little you know love at first sight i got it in a size medium and it was 90 pounds then i got some basics i got a black tank top like normal tank top why i like these is because they're square up so you can wear it with a bra and your bra will not show because of the shape they're super like practical for the summer they goes with everything i can wear it with jeans with shorts with skirt everything i can dress them up dress them down and this was only uh 12 pound i got it in black i got it in white and i also got like another version of like white I got these jeans. I'm so happy. I found like a nice pair of jeans. It's so hard for me to find jeans. You guys know it. It's such like a struggle. And I got these pair of jeans that look very, very cute. I tried them on for you guys. 45 pounds. It's it's alright. Like it's not too expensive. It's it's alright. So yeah, very happy because I have some jeans, but I don't have like this color, so I'm super happy and excited. Last but not least, I got two caps. If you watch my last vlog, you know that I got this cap. And like green I have it in green wait I will show you this is my green one and guys can you believe I found my happiness at Zara because some caps have like such a weird shape to them they don't look good on me and when I try these I don't know I feel like they're stylish they fit me well yeah I just need to fix the sizing because like you know you can fix it here I still didn't fix it but this is the black one it's in this linen material and these were like 12 pounds only so yeah and I got this beige one also I love that. Like the green is already sized perfectly for me. So I'm going to show you a bit how they look like when they're like perfectly sized. I like it. I think it's stylish. It can elevate the look quickly. All right, guys. So that was it for the haul and for the vlog also. It's 7.52. I'm going to get dressed, break my fast, and I'm going to go to the gym. Tomorrow is the last day of fasting. I'm very happy. Can't wait for Aid. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see my outfits. I post a lot there. You can more keep up with me. And also also follow me on TikTok as well because we have so much fun on TikTok. Like literally it's my favorite. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a like and a comment down below because I post videos every week and you don't want to miss that. So yeah guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Mwah.